Hey friends, I'm Brooke from Start at Home and today I want to share with you guys how to make a succulent pumpkin. They are so much easier than you think. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to get is a pumpkin. Now you're going to want to make sure that your pumpkin is hollow. I have found that if you get the carvable pumpkins, those ones are always hollow. So look for that. And then the next thing you're going to do want to do is fill it with um, foam, which I've already filled it with foam. You can buy, it's just a floral foam. You can buy this at Joann's Walmart, you know, anywhere that does crafty stuff. And what you'll do is you'll get your foam and then you will cut it. I just used a serrated steak knife to cut it so that I could get it to fit in here. And it doesn't have to be pretty because we're going to cover it all up. And this one actually is going to fit in here in just a second. I will show you. So the next thing you're going to need is some succulents. Now I went with this pack of succulents because I liked these colors. Just screamed fall a little bit more to me, I guess. And you're going to want to make sure that you have something that's going to hang down out of the pumpkin. And then also something fun to give it a little bit of height. And you're also going to want some moss. Now I got this at Joann's. There again, you can get it a lot of places. Walmart has it, crafting stores. I did get a bag with a couple different colors just because I liked the variation. So the first thing you're going to do is put in the foam and then once your foam is in and it doesn't need to be perfect, but you want to get it in there pretty tight because this is what we're going to use to stick our succulents in. So then you can kind of figure out where you want it. And I like to start with my bigger succulents. So I'll just stick well, maybe in this in about right there and then can take this one and this is a pretty tall one if you can tell so we're gonna stick it in the back the last time I did this it wasn't quite high enough and I wanted it a little bit higher so that's where this other piece of foam comes in I just kind of stuck that in behind so that I could get a little bit more height so there's that and then really you can just take the rest of your succulents and just kind of stick them in, fill in places. What else have I got? Oh, this tall one right here, kind of stick that in. Although, okay, so I'm feeling like we have too much purplish over here and too much green over here. So the best part about foam is you can just rearrange. So I'm gonna move this guy over here. We'll stick this back here. All right, I like that a little bit better. And then I want out of the front of my pumpkin, I do want this to hang. So let's kind of move that. Like that. And then a little fall touch with some of these. I don't know exactly what these are, pine coney things. <laughs> and you can use these to kind of fall out of the side too. All right, so once you've got that arranged how you like it, can you see how through there you can see some of the foam? That's where the moss comes in. We wanna shove that down in there so that we can't see any of the foam. And I even, oops, I lost that guy. I even like my moss to kind of hang out a little bit. Just makes it feel a little bit more full and I like the color that it gives. Now you can hot glue this stuff in place if you're worried about it falling out or you just want it to stay put forever. 
it does stay in pretty well by itself but if you were doing this for like a centerpiece or a wedding or an event I would probably hot glue it in these back in here actually maybe I'll put these over here all right I'd say it looks pretty dang good <laughs>